So what I want to do here is, is that um, first send a shout out to my uh, significant other for this because I want you guys to see it. Can't really see it here. I want you guys to see the title. So if you guys can see that, this is going into Hebrew mysticism. Essentially what it is, um, she blessed me with this. We're able to share this now, so I'm able to give you some good proof and information out of this. So what I want to do briefly here is, is go ahead and read. I want to go ahead and read from this um, particular, the 84th section of the book of, this is the book of Jasher. And it says, at that time, Yahuwah said to Moshe, tell your brother Aharon that he shall die there, for he shall not come to the land which I have given to the children of, of Yashar El. And Aharon went up at the command of Yahuwah to Mount Hor in the 40th year, in the fifth month, in the first day of the month. And Aharon was 123 years old when he died at Mount Hor. And that's what I want to point out. <clears throat> now, if you notice in that, I just simply, what I did was, this is a magical book. I just simply opened up to that scripture. This is the 84th section in the book of Jasher. And it's talking about essentially uh, Moses and Aaron and getting into the truth. A lot of information in this particular story about Moses and Aaron is not in the Bible because this is uh, the Hebrew, similar to a Talmud, and it's essentially the Hebrew Bible. Um, that was given to me again by my significant other and it it goes into the real words and the real stories and that's what makes it interesting so like in places for instance where you would see God in the Bible it'll clear that up for you and show you that it's really saying Elohim talking about more than one or a group so this is why I decided to use this as one of the primary books for our scripture I mean for our religion that I've formed because this goes into the ETs, it goes into the whole scenario, it goes into how long we're supposed to live. If you notice, this man was 123 years old when he died. And this was actually considered a short lifespan, believe it or not. So Moshe, or excuse me, Aharon, Aaron, was 123 years when he died, which is proving some of the stuff that I talk about, about our lifespan, about how long you can live and things of that nature, because you got to look at it like this and I'll shut down. So I'll come back up with some more videos based upon the scripture because that's what we're going to do today is dedicate today to some rare information that people don't really hear and put out some rare information for you guys as a gift essentially for the ones dropping um, Cincinnati Reds ones dropped and as you guys know I'm a native of Cincinnati so it's my gift to give to you guys essentially um, you know when something like that happens um, I give this is this is what I do so we normally get donations via PayPal, 13signsastrology at gmail.com. You can even donate a dollar or a hundred dollars or a thousand dollars. It doesn't really matter. But in this episode, essentially what we're doing is just, in the, for the next few episodes, we're going to just give um, food, which is essentially knowledge, to help you guys to wake up. So here it is right here. So this is proving that beings and people was living to be three and four hundred years old, I'm going to go further whatever as time goes on and this is going to prove that the personification of the most high or God or what you want to call him was always personified, why? when they speak of the most high here or even here they speak of and they call him they call him Yahuwah you see, why do they call him Yahuwah because Yahuwah in, in, in Hebrew goes into the real term of the most high this goes into the form of the most high as a warrior as a warrior head of a tribe and he was called yahuwah here because of the fact that this particular version of the most high is not physical however it has to be channeled by one physical man with power and this is how the hebrews acted and the reason why i use these scriptures and all that tie this in is because just like i was saying on the videos in the underworld the hebrews for the most part have the best doctrine when it comes to this stuff ETs, aliens, and overstanding it. They got psh, thousands of scriptures documenting everything that's talked about. So this is why in person, when they refer to the Most High as Yahuwah, this is referring to a high head of a group of people that's channeling 
a Godhead type of energy. See, this is what they don't teach you. God has to be channeled. The Godhead, it has to be channeled. Meaning that, excuse me, kitty. Give me a second here, guys. Okay, go ahead. Go ahead. While I'm doing a video. Okay, go ahead. Go ahead. I'm almost done. So the most high has to be channeled. And essentially, uh, what happens is, is that the most high wants his channel by one person, it turns into a guy here, Yahuwah, and then this is where you get from Yahuwah, you get Elohim. This is where you get the group. So essentially where I'm getting at is, is that in order for you, and I shut down here because this is something we'll come back to at another time. But in order for you to really get into praying to a one guy, a lot of people may not understand this and may not even like this, but I'll say it. In order for you to get into praying to a one guy, you're going to have to essentially come first as a guy yourself, as a little guy. See, the real true one guy doesn't listen to the prayers of the mortal or the neophyte. See, the neophyte has to first learn how to connect back with its ancestors. And this is why you get into stories about prophets and we, we're giving prophets because this is supposed to remind us of our ancestors. And then once you connect back with your ancestors, then from their beloved, then you can go into, okay, now I want to connect with a God because you understand you're a little guy. You understand what it is to invoke them, to connect and to lead people and to be responsible for people as a God yourself. How could you want somebody, someone to be responsible for you, yet you're not even responsible for yourself and your people? So that's the first step. Um, and understanding the most high and things of that nature. So we'll come up with a little bit more. You guys enjoy the rest of your morning. I just want to go ahead and get this going because this was ordered, you know, hot off the presses, you know, and I try to tie my videos in sports like I was telling you guys because this is how the real story is told. So I'll go into more, and these videos do have a double meaning. They are cryptic, so the language of crypto. <laughs> So I'll come back up one more.